here we have a gas. So the gas is under pressure through the excitation of the bipolar Tesla coil. And what you can see here on the left hand side, that's where the stream hits and you see a rotating plasma field. So this, this rotation is aligned to the coil arrangement of windings and it follows the same kind of rules if you want. I will use now um, a permanent magnet, a ferret magnet, and will influence these fields. So most of you know that the magnet has a magnetic field and is closed up on, each, uh, on itself from north to south. And most of, uh, well, let's say the majority of people think a magnet has it, it has no fluctuation in the field. There is no rotation. It's just permanent there. That's actually not the case. There are videos existing showing that um, there is a rotation and so you can show that very very easily here in, in the plasma and I will demonstrate that by influencing here the rotation of um, the counter electrode plasma field with a magnet. So here I'm using a standard ferret magnet, not using such a strong one because the field is quite sensitive so this one's good enough so let's see what happens if I move it okay let's go close you cannot see it really let me move it, zoom out a bit so here you can see my hand and the rotation so that is now at the moment clockwise if you can see that now let's turn the polarity around that should be counterclockwise. Yeah, let me go if I have it in the right position. It speeds up so fast. Now that is clockwise. Now I have it. That's kind of difficult. Now here you go. That's counterclockwise. Turn it around and clockwise. So the closer it gets, the faster I speed it up. As you can see, so that's clockwise. Turn it around again, counterclockwise.